Hello and uh, welcome to another one of our products um, unboxing videos slash review videos. Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the Clark 5 speed, 5 speed bench mounted pillar drill. Uh, it's got a key chuck. Um, there is this available in two colours, red or blue. The blue is cheaper, don't know why. Bought this from Machine Mart in the UK. It was about 70 quid. You can get a thing where a drill will go into it or like a clamp and go down, but really for the money it's... It's not worth it. Um, yeah, right. This is like our workshop. So we've got a few. We've got like that in there at the moment, and we've got some other bits as well. We're going to do a review on this next. But this video is about this one. So if you're thinking about buying one of these, this is what you can expect to get in the box. Usually, clock stuff is pretty good. We've got a compressor. We've got all sorts of stuff. It's heavy. It is. So it's 15 kg, there's a fair bit of weight to it. Right, construction manual. Yep. Okay. It looks like there's a bit of self assembly okay. with this. <laughs> the only thing you don't get with this, it should be on the cover somewhere, the jig. is the jig. Um, uh, which we yeah. have actually got one. It's there. You that, don't get that. That doesn't come with it. Um, I would recommend buying one of them. Just for say, I think they're about £10. That. Probably find one hidden in here. Let's see, that's the guard. A few bolts. Don't know what that is. Chuck, yeah. Oh, chuck, okay, so there is assembly with this, which is fine. And here's obviously the main. And there she lies. That actually goes on there. Quite substantial uh, equipment. Yeah, it is. Very. Now I don't. I can't remember what uh, what motor rating this was. I think it's three hundred watts, something like that. Apparently it's got five speeds as well, between 600 and 2220 RPM. It's 350 watt motor and it's fan cooled. Uh, machine table, adjustable. 350 watt. 350 watt, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's everything in the box. Okay. It's got a rubberized plug on the end, which is always a yeah, good quality. Always a good sign. Right, better than a plastic one that can crack. And the belt for the motor onto here is uh, on a screw. I'm looking at the picture on there, so I right. need to. Oh, all the stuff is right. That's not a good start, is it? Low hold in there. No, not really. As I say, this is brand new out of the box, so we've not opened this box. Right, three before. holes, three holes. So what you're seeing here is as we're seeing it. And this does come in cellophane, all this stuff that comes in this plastic cellophane. Right, so got three bolts, threads in there. So do you get like a spanner with it? No, so you have to, you know, I don't know, sometimes you get stuck with things. So we'll put this, so flat washer on, spring washer. I'll tighten it up in a minute. And that's just by fluke. We have a spanner. I've got a bag of sockets somewhere, which we have. And we'll find them in a minute. I've not read the instruction man, because it's sort of... It's self-explanatory to a point. I mean, it's not rocket science. You'll see is if it isn't in a minute, if we start struggling, but... So, really, what I need is a soft... Let me just go in there. So... Chuck. 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 Mm. 
So it looks like you've got a couple of. Did you get these Allen keys with this? Okay, so you've got a couple of Allen keys with them. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. This is the for the handle to, to turn it left and right. Um, they go in there. Let's see what size stuff we have Well, it says 4.8 on there. And this thing here has got degree angle degrees on it. So, so you can go sort of like that. Some sort of rust coat inside, perhaps red. It's a bit annoying about the hole down there, though. Because it, I mean, really, that's not really acceptable. It's not. <laughs> it's brand new. It's got a hole in it. They shouldn't have sent that out, really. So I will, we will, have you found I've a socket, you found a socket, so okay. to do these nuts up, so I would have done this video in a couple of parts, but you need a 14 mil socket, 14 mil, okay. and it's obviously uh, cast. There's a little bit of paint missing off this room as well. Uh, but we always try to do an honest review on products. Um, a few chips on here. So, Clark, if you're watching, you get something out there. Sort your quality control out a little bit. Chips on here. Yeah. Uh, paint missing. But you will get, obviously, you are going to get use of it when you use it. Obviously, you are going to dink things and stuff. So, we're not that bothered, but it's just. Right. It's just it's a new okay, product, it's holes in it. So that's on, this now needs to slide on. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh dear. Is that really, really Yeah, and it's wide open now, but... Just a bit of, uh, but then you want it to be. You don't want it to really move, do you? And then when you uh, tighten it up, it definitely don't move. Uh, good thing it's got red oxide inside. Yeah, so. I did say about that rust coating. Yeah, it's got to be a, a good thing. Yeah. Uh, we need to throw this on top. And that looks like that's got a couple of, couple of like um, um, right. one of those things, these grub screws, grub screws, which tighten up with an Allen key. Right, so, so obviously you want it all straight. So there's a couple of them there. What I'm gonna do, it's an easy way of doing it, just put something against it, see if it's level. That looks level to me. Yeah, it looks all right to me too. Let's adjust it, can't we? I think I think the main the main important bit is to have the top piece that's important, sort obviously. Of level with the bottom, and that thing obviously can move left and right a bit, whatever. Is there two? Is there two that side and two the other side? side? No, oh. just two. Oh, no, okay, so here's all the on and off stuff as well. Big motor on the back, fairly powerful, 300. And this is watt. just a basic overview of this. If you want any more. Right, so that's all um, Height adjustment. Yeah, I need to let that down a bit. And uh, on the front it's got uh, chuck capacitors. 